bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Since the passing of Hurricane Matthew over one week ago, there has been a mad dash for various items on the island, and as we hear in this report, local hardware stores are among the entities experiencing the rush. Hurricane Matthew unleashed its fury on Grand Bahama, leaving behind not only a trail of devastation, but a high demand on hardware stores for supplies. With no electricity in many areas and water still out in small pockets, residents have been in search of generators, flashlights, lanterns, gas stoves, batteries, building supplies and more. Store manager at Dolly Madison James Roll and marketing manager at Kelly's Lynn Freno say business has increased tremendously. The needs after the hurricane was more than they had um, planned for. Uh, for example, even though they would have uh, purchased tops and lanterns and lights and batteries and what's not. They realized after the storm that um, there was an extended period when they were going to be without the necess necessary um, um, power and um, utilities. It has been a very, very, very um, hectic time for Kelly's um, and we're just focused on staying open, getting the products in um, and serving the customers so that we could help everyone get back to some sort of normalcy. But the question is, can local hardware stores meet this growing demand? We have been able to secure um, several trailers to come in. In fact, right now we have two trailers in where we are offloading um, generators. We have a limited supply of generators, the um, 550 um, series. We have a limited supply of um, batteries, um, D batteries, C batteries, lamp oils, um, tops, we got flashlights and um, a lot of the other hurricane essentials in the store right now. We're working basically around the clock. Um, during the storm, we were even placing orders so that we could replenish. Roll says Dolly Madison is grateful to corporate partners for helping them to meet the needs within the community. In particular, we want to commend um, government agencies like Bahamas Customs who were able to facilitate us and, and allow us to move our product into the store quick enough so that we can pass it on to the uh, customers. Sabrina Brown, ZNS Network News. With the growing demand for fuel on the island, there are some concerns about a possible shortage. But tonight's spokesman for Freeport Oil Company, Peter Adley, says Focal is positioned to meet the growing demand. No time then or now, during the storm or post Matthew, is there any concern about supply? There's ample supply on this island for years to come. And so those folks who have been in a panic or remain in a panic thinking that for whatever reason uh, we will run out of supply, they need not worry. Uh, the, the quality product remains intact. Uh, there are a num significant number of citizens who use propane. The bulk supply of propane is being delivered as usual. Those persons who get propane from independent suppliers, they need just simply contact those suppliers. Adderley adds that the corporate giant is always prepared to service its, service its clients. Since the island-wide power outage occurred, focal stations have adjusted their operating hours as necessary. As the power increases island-wide, we are in fact going to open later. But for now, we're trying to get out of here before dark for the safety of residents and our employees, obviously. And we're so delighted to commend the employees of FOCO with their own personal challenges as a result of the storm to have been present, competent, and caring about the concerns of residents here on Grand Bahama. International liquidators responding to the clarion call to assist residents in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew. Manager Jason Martin says they have brought in a quantity of portable four-burner gas stoves at an affordable rate. A portion of the sales, he says, will be donated to a worthy cause. Even before this even happened, I know that people are out there and they had everything electrical. Everything, I mean, and like everything goes with electric and free power power and, and have you. And these times, this is what we need. This is what we need to go back to. We need to go back to the hand pump, to the generators, having your generators in stock and having these gas stoves here. Now, the prices on these are only $100. 
four burners, only a hundred dollars. And we're giving back to the people. Half of this is going back to Hurricane Relief Fund. Martin hopes that residents will see the advantages of investing in gas appliances, particularly the easy-to-use stove, which comes with a one-year warranty. The benefits of this is not only for the hurricane, no, this is what we need to go back to. This would, if you ask your grandma or you ask someone back then, they'll tell you that they know about a gas stove, but they forgot about it. They got into electric and then not the hurricane coming and they'd be like, hey, we got to go back to the little tank. This is a good stove. You can use this when a hurricane comes for future hurricanes and even when it's not, even when power just shuts out. This is what we need to go back to preserves, you preserve energy because you only burn in fuel. And you know, you can just shut it off when you finish. It's not dangerous. I know a lot of people think that it's dangerous. It's not dangerous. When you finish, you just shut it off. Now for more information, you can visit International Liquidators or call 727-9096. Finally, in news tonight, a Defense Force vessel damaged by fire over the weekend. In a press release, the Defense Force confirmed that the rear section of the vessel was on fire at Bradford Marine Shipyard here in Freeport, where the vessel is currently undergoing a major refit by Damon Shipyard Company. No injuries were reported and an assessment will be carried out to determine the cause of the fire and extent of the damage. The 60-meter, 198-foot Bahama-class vessel was built by Moss Point Marine in Mississippi and has been extremely instrumental in anti-poaching, anti-narcotics, illegal migration and deterrence patrols within the waters of the Bahamas. Stay with us. Ricardo Liborne is up next with sports. <laughs> 